Ready? Start. Ready? Go. Get off my garden. Get off the garden. Hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm on the plot again. Just this evening. I've been at work today so I thought I'd just pop down and do a quick site survey of the three allotments to see what needs to be done. Um, so as you see I've got my leeks. Uh, they're doing fine. They're thickening up a bit more now. Um, yeah, I think it's just basically I stuck too many in. Um, I should have given them two beds for what I've got stuck in there, but never mind. The parsnips are fine. I've uh, checked and some of them are looking promising. Although they weren't spaced out, I just... Well, it, because I just couldn't get them to germinate um, like I wanted to. So I thought, well, just st stick a few packs in and, and wish me luck, that kind of thing. So, anyway, so I'm just having a quick check down here. And I've got some deadheading to do. I've got a huge pile at the end of this uh, bed here, which I'll just point there. I've got a load of um, purple sprouting broccoli stems which I've got to take home and get rid of. Yeah, uh, let's see now. The dahlias need looking after. Oh, God almighty. One pair of hands, you know. Yeah, compost. Remember when, uh, when you're doing compost, the hotter you get it, um, the more likely you are to kill the weeds off. And unfortunately, mine didn't get hot enough by the looks of it. So I've got lots of, um, I don't know if you can see lots of weeds but um they're not gonna get big so i'm just gonna disturb them oh gosh i've got some tidying up to do here yeah that that greenhouse is fine i don't need to look at it just now i've got more debris here to take away um the onions over here they're looking a little bit sad for themselves but they're going to get transplanted um something that i transplanted the other day a little bit anyway and then again, lighting levels is you're racing against time to get them in. So the ones I have stuck in are fine. So what have I got? Um, these are mini coal. Uh, and I've got, um, uh, what do you call it? I've got kale across over there. Got kale over there and mini coal. Uh, and savoy cabbage. So I'll have to finish this bed off as well. So it's just provision you have to get the net over. Um, because there still are butterflies around, um, I haven't actually spotted any uh, any cabbage white, but uh, most likely when I'm down on a plot tomorrow I'll see a couple. Um, yes, I've got some some raspberries still. I'll have to have a look. I think I'm going to have to top them down anyway and trim them for next year. Right, so I'm going to zoom around this side. This is a tear berry. Uh, and uh, this is the right old this is a right old beast this is I don't know how many times I've cut it back and it's just absolutely wild so like I did was it's a, it's a different variety as well because this leaf this leaf here I'll just come a bit closer uh, it's different to the other tear berry but I'll just have to see if it I'll have to see I'll have to, to train it and cut a bit back again um, and see what the fruit's like. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to give it more, more to climb. I think as well, more training, because the other one I actually uh, split it. So the three, um, three shoots going left and three shoots going right, uh, to to, um, to control it. I see you now. Here's the blotty beans. Yeah, look, that's not bad for something that went in late. Right now, the uh, the multicoloured corn. Uh, I took away all the all the cobs because this year the corn just hasn't worked out um, for me at all. But I wanted to try it out anyway, just for the heck of it, to see whether it was multicoloured. Because you know you can get some of these um, these ca catalogues or whatever this, uh, you know, like um, uh, what do you call it? an on online retailer, should I say? And uh, you know, they, they, they tell you, well, they tell you stories, so you don't believe half of them, you know, and you don't believe half the colours that say that you can get. So I ordered um, some multicoloured corn, uh, and sure enough, it was multicoloured. So, you know, unfortunately, the, the cob itself wasn't very big. As I say, it's a real funny year for corn on a cob. 
Um, but uh, yeah, it's true. We had pink, pink and yellow and purple, and a bit bluish as well. Um, so very odd. And um, what have I got here? This is um, oh, what do you call it? It's a black currant. I don't know if you can see, but look, I'll see if I can point better. I'll take this leaf away. And can you see the new shoots coming? So new shoots for next year. So that's in the wrong place, as is that. Um, yes, they've got uh, blueberries here. Everything needs to have a bit of love. Uh, the um, I've got four gooseberries here. I think I've got two brown and two two yellow ones or whatever. Um, they need trimming back. No, I'll just have to get my big gloves on for that. And um, this here. This is a trailer netting. So if you're looking for netting, you know, think a bit outside the box as well while you're doing it. Right, let's go and see uh, the bottle cord. <laughs> yeah, I've, I was thinking about naming, naming the bottle cords. So that's the first candidate. Ah. Let's see if I can find the other one. Because as you can see, it's put lots of new shoots on, which I don't want it to do. So I'm going to have to like, cut that. Right, where's that big one? Oh, look at this. Folks, look at this one. He's got even bigger. Right, so I've got two two I can see definitely. So if anyone's got any suggestions what I could call this one, the first one, see, item A. <laughs> comment, uh, put your comments in the comment section. And uh, item B... Yeah, I'm going to get a bottle cord out of this one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, um, I'm yeah, I'm going to name them. I'm going to give them a name. Everyone can say, touch the screen, you know, touch the screen. You know, um, we'll we'll uh, give um, give uh, item A or item B your love. You know, just will them to be bigger. You know, <laughs> I am. Anyway, so I was thinking like George and Georgina, like, but uh, yeah. Right, what have I got over here? Well, I've got nothing in this bed here, which needs uh, filling up with something. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll not talk about that. What is this? I'm just having a look, see where it is. Feels like that's beetroot. I thought it was spinach. That's golden, golden burpees. Not very big, like typical me. You know, cramming too much in. Yeah. Now this is a bed that hasn't worked out. This was stuff that was sort of waiting around. This is one actually hearted up. Um, never could get anything to grow even in there. Even um, uh, beetroot. It, nothing's really interested. Even though I actually put put some more fresh soil in. Anyway, back this way. So you see, I've got lots to tidy up. Yeah, and the uh, sweet peas are knocking off now. This part, I get the odd one. Yeah, it's still pretty though. Well, pretty. Yeah, these are the, um, oh, what do you call them? Fuchsias, little fuchsias. So I've got to bring them out and I give them a home for the winter, as I've got to do with the dahlias. Yeah, what else have we got to do? Yeah, I've got some uh, some pansies. Of course, you go, go to a shop, you can't help yourself, can you? Well, I can't anyway. So, you know that tear berry I showed you? Well, this is the other type of leaf. So the other one was more jagged, yeah, and this is more more rounded, yeah. Uh, and yeah, if I can see, they're the they're the blackberries or the tip or tear berries that. Um, maybe this is a blackberry. The other one's a tear berry. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, okay. So what else have I got to do? Yeah, so I've just got lots of tidying up to do. I've got my Brussels sprouts here. So they're doing all right. They're buttoning up. But what I do need to do, I have to check to see when it is, but I believe now I've got to take the tips out. If you take the tips out, it's it's uh, declaring to the plant, that's it. That's, that's as far as you're going to grow. And I want you to concentrate on the fruit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift, lift this netting off. Um, and then nip out the the tops um, yes and then yeah just crack on 
the sea now. This is a mess, honestly. But it, it, we had that much rain, it's not rain, it's muddy and everything. It's just, and the winds. Oh, so, this is a mess. Looks like a bomb city. Yes, yeah, so I've got um, dwarf French beans. So, lots of fine little beans. Well, the strawberries are looking sad for themselves, so I need to take all the the runners off. I've got that many um, strawberry, strawberries anyway, I just don't need the runners, so nah, I don't know. I'll see if I can find someone who wants them, you know, I can pop them up. Just basically, just get get them up. Let's see if I can find you a runner, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm. Put my glasses on, I can see better. No, you can't see that on there. Right, I'm just going to cut to the quick and see. Right, so you got your plant, got your plant, right? And the bottom of your plant, if it starts creating little fingers or nodules on here, on that, on that bit there, when it's got that. You don't really have to leave it attached to the to the mother plant. I'm just having a look quick closely. Yeah, it's got a few. So basically, you can, you could, you could wait a little longer, uh, and then just basically cut cut it off and stick it in in the ground and look after it that way. Put put them in the greenhouse as well to look after them. You know. So what else? Come on, Max. Yeah. Still getting on top of the rat problem, um, but just taking away anything that they might, you know, feel inclined to have a nibble. So the, I've got to take courgettes away. No. So anyway, these are the flowers. Still going strong. Still need some. Don't need to do some deadheading. Yeah. This is the um, rhododendron. Putting its new new flowers on for next year. The uh, lavender. Lavender is. Uh, more or less finished, so I was wondering when I could uh, actually take a few, a few heads and then dry them and put them into bags, make it a nice little gift, things like that. Yeah. So what have we got? Yeah. <laughs> they never end. Never end. Yeah. Uh, slice them. Slice them. Dip them. Uh, dip them in flour. Dip them in egg. Seasoned egg and uh, salt and pepper. Yeah, add some bee paprika, something like that to it. You know, and then put it in the frying pan. You could do it like that. You know, some to to use them up. But whatever you do, don't leave them lying around. Don't leave them in the allotment because sooner or later the ver uh, vermin and such will find these, and then the frost will find these, and they'll all go all soggy. And then and then you've just got a mess to clear up. Yeah. So I've got one or two uh, runner beans to take. Not a great deal, so that's good, thank goodness. And um, the cobra, believe it or not, so if I could just climb over here because I could put an obstacle in the way. Yeah, excuse me. It's going to be up and down a bit. <sighs> yeah. yeah, cobra. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And delicious as well. And it, what, what, what's it, the 8th of October, and it's still got fruit on it, it's got flowers on it as well. So, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it a wee while longer, uh, before I take it down, but I'll be really sad to see it go, but I'll be glad to see it come back again next year. See, this is your copper seed here, look at that, yeah, copper seed. So I need to come off, yeah, I can feel it there, the loose inside, yeah. This is, um... A league, which I've put up with basically. Um, yeah, a league, which I've put up. I've had it for it for a couple of year or so, and uh, it's just sort of it's out of the way. I left it where it was, and it flowered, and the bees liked it and stuff. And now it's got these on here. I should have done it like um, like like uh, some leek growers do. And you cut off. In fact, this is all seed anyway. So oh, I'll pull that over again. This is all seed. Yeah. So I could actually harvest a head and hope that it's got seed. When it's got seed, um, it produces 
um, not not a direct clone of itself, but it's like it, itself and someone else, you know. Um, but if uh, if you wanted if you wanted um, a leek which which is like hundred percent identical to that plant, then what you've got to do is cut all all this off, yeah. Took all the all the bubbles off, all the seeds off, and then what it'll do is it'll produce something called grass, yeah. Which, which um, basically it produces from here, uh, mini maize, uh, and uh, you take you, uh, you take it off and you put it in a solution of uh, water and domestic for instance, it's like for anti fungicide, um, and then what happens is it it releases the mini maize and then you can plant them up. So I bet you didn't know that one, <laughs> and I'm learning as well in the process. Yeah, so as you see, more mess. I better get all this done before they do site inspection. <laughs> anyway, folks, I think that'll be it for just now. I've had, a, I've got a good idea what I've been, what I need to do tomorrow first thing, and um, yeah, yeah, I'll roll my sleeves up. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next film. Bye.